So far in this chapter, we've learned how to add media to WordPress, manage it once it's there, and edit our images with WordPress's editing functions. Now we're going to try something more fun. Let's experiment with some of the fun we can have when displaying our images. Once again, we're returning to the world of Jetpack and other plugins. Through the use of these, we can display our media in a number of interesting, eye-catching ways. The first thing we're going to lose, look at the options we have in Jetpack. In Jetpack, in addition to all the other cool things, we have two image-related plugins that we want to look at today. The first is the carousel. It will turn our normal image galleries into a beautiful full-screen carousel that our readers can use to easily flip to the images in our gallery. Once we have carousel enabled, it just works. So in order to give that a try, let's create a new page just for this. We'll call this page Gallery, and we'll click Add Media. If you'll notice in the left navigation menu, we have a link called Create Gallery. We'll click that and we see that we have the option to upload new files, or select files from our media library. Here, we're just going to select some files that we've already uploaded to our media library. Click a Create a New Gallery. Now we have the opportunity to add captions to our images if we so desire. These captions will be displayed below the images in the gallery. We're not too worried about it here, but you should ideally have a caption for each image in a gallery. You want to be as informative as possible, and having images with no information does not lend well to that goal. We can also rearrange our images by dragging and dropping them where we want them. You'll also notice that we have some gallery settings we can tweak. We can change what each image links to, the media file or attachment page. We can randomize the order of the gallery. And we can set up some different display options. For now, we're going to stay with Thumbnail Grid. Let's insert gallery and publish the page to have a look. As you can see, we have a grid of images with three columns that looks nice. Let's see what we happens when we click an image. As you can see, we have this very nice full screen light box type slideshow that our readers can easily flip between different images, see the titles for the image, and the captions if you have them. If carousel was not enabled, each image in that gallery would simply link to the image's own page, which is nothing but a blank page with that image. So using the carousel gives us a more interactive way for our readers to enjoy our gallery. There are some options for the gallery in the media settings as well. Here, we can change the background color if we wanted to. The metadata, which may or may not be pertinent for your application, it's usually not, so we're going to turn that off here. Photo metadata is data added to an image, usually by cameras and some phones. It can contain date information or even location information. So if you're at all worried about privacy or people knowing where the images were taken, you should turn this off. And generally, if you're not running a photography website where people care about that metadata, you should probably turn this off anyway. Now we have a solid gallery that looks great, is intuitive to use, and shows off our pretty garden pictures. In the next video, I'm going to show you the tiled galleries option in Jetpack.